What's the best amp for a Gibson Les Paul? This video is a simple roundup of amps we'd recommend pairing with a Gibson Les Paul, based on our article of the same topic. We'll cover our top recommendation along with some honorable mentions. Don't forget to like and subscribe, which helps our channel out a lot. Thank you all. Our top pick, the Mesa Boogie Mark 525. While price will play a significant role in which amp you get, especially after spending big on a Gibson Les Paul, we'd argue that the Mesa Boogie Mark 525 is your best overall option. Note that the lower wattage version of the Mark V gets you a much lower price tag, with all features we like from the higher wattage amps in the series. Honorable mentions. Marshall, Diesel, and another Mesa will make up my recommendations in this table. For a Gibson Les Paul, I wouldn't go cheap, and I wouldn't go Fender or Vox. Below are some heavy alternatives that bring the same qualities as the Mark V 1, the Diesel Big Max 2, the Marshall SV 20H3, the Mesa Boogie Rectoverb 25. Some notable features of the Mark V. Internal amp load and speaker emulator. Two tube-driven channels, graphic EQ, five bands. Full four-band EQ and gain controls for both channels. Adjustable wattage, headphone out, direct out, reverb for both channels. Lots of Mesa amps don't have reverb. I know it's not a conventional choice, but I'd argue for Mesa over Marshall. And as for Fender amps, they're great, but just aren't in the same style as the Gibson Les Paul. Remember, if you want to go with something different, these are just suggestions based on my experience and amps I've tested. At the end of the day, it's opinion, where beauty is in the eye of the beholder.